If you create YouTube videos or other types of long form video, you don't need to be an animator in order to create some graphics on your videos. You can use Canva to create some animated and still graphics that you can put on top of your videos and to add those graphic elements. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva to create graphic elements and animations that you can use in your videos really easily. All right, so if we want to make graphics that we can put on a video in Canva, what we wanna do is first start with a video size. So you go to create a design, you can put in video, and we're gonna choose this first one, 1920 by 1080 pixels. And that way we have a video size. So whatever we create, we know it's going to work on video nicely. Now, of course, if you are doing a more custom sized video for whatever reason, you want to check the dimensions of your video to make sure that you make a page that says same dimensions so that it's going to work well for your video. So first of all, what we want to do is think about what we want to create. So say we want to create some sort of animation that goes on top of our video. Now it's more than likely that you're editing your video in something other than Canva. Canva, you can edit videos, but for something that's quite long, it can be very slow and clunky because you're working online. And so it really depends on your internet. So it's usually best if you're doing a longer form video to edit it in an editing software. We can still use Canva to create these graphics that we can add on top. So if we want to add something on top where it's transparent so that you can see your video behind and you've got your animation on top, we want to use green screen. So you want to come over to colors and you want to choose some sort of bright green. So it doesn't have to be anything in particular unless you're using a video editing software that tells you that you need a particular color, but generally just a bright green is going to work just fine. So then what we can do is add the thing that we want to animate. So let's say we want to do a lower third. So a lower third is where you maybe have it pop up with your name or something about you down the bottom. So one thing I like to do, so we like to go do, you can do just a square if you wanted to. I think it's quite fun to do something like a blob. Now, if the colors you use don't go well with green, you may want to remove that at first. So you can really see what you're doing and not be distracted by the green, and then add the green after. So it depends what feels best to you. If your colors really clash badly with green and you find it hard, then get rid of that and do it later. Now, if you're using green in your design, then you probably want to pick a different color that's very highly contrasting that will pull away. So say if we wanted to actually make that green, if that was an actual a brand color, we might wanna make our background something like red. So it's something that's highly contrasting. So when we choose that color to get rid of, we're not going to damage our actual design in any way. So for our lower third here, I'm just going to use this blob. I'm going to add some text, put my name. Maybe it's some little subtext underneath. Now we can add now we can add some animation to it. So you can click on each element and then click on animate and choose the animation you want. So we might want it to rise. So it looks like it's popping up. Want that just on enter. You can have it on exit too if you want. It's really up to you about what you're trying to create. Use those animation tools to get the look you want. So here I'm going to just make it pop up. Then my text, I can add some things to make the text animate here. So of course, play around with all the animation tools in Canva. All you have to do is click on an element you want to animate, click on that little animate up the top and go through these different animation tools to find what suits you. So you have all these different motion effects here. And then if you go down here, there's these ones like rotate, flicker, pulse, and wiggle as well. And if you want to make something move across the screen, you can use this one, create animation, where you just move that object with your mouse and it actually animates it to move along with your mouse. So utilize those animation tools to create that graphic animation that you want to create. So a lower third tends to do something pretty basic where it just pops in and you want to check how long you want it to go for. So say we want it just to go for five seconds. Do make sure you check that so that it's not going for too long or too short. Really think about how long you want that to sit on the screen and check your timing. So again, you wanna make sure once everything's done, you put that green in the background and then you're going to share, download 
and download as an MP4. Now, if you're doing a 4K video, you want to make sure that you're downloading it as 4K. Now, there is a pro only feature, but if you do it as just HD and your actual finished video is 4K, you're going to have to blow it up twice the size to fit on 4K and then it may look slightly pixelated. So do keep that in mind that you really want it to match the quality of the actual video. Whether your video is HD or whether your video is 4K, make sure you match that with your animation. And then you're going to download and then I'm going to show you how in an editor you actually will get rid of that background so that it can just be placed on top of your video. Now, what about other animated elements? So sometimes you just want fun little things on the screen that animate. Maybe you're trying to show something, show a product or um, show an example of something, or you just want to add some sort of fun animation. We can do that all in Canva too. So all you need to do is go in elements, find the things you want, or you can use uploads here and upload anything that you want to showcase. So for example, if I had made this planner and I wanted to showcase it in my video, I can place it in. I can go to animate and decide on an animation. So I might just want it to wiggle around on the screen. Maybe as I'm talking about it, I just want it to sit there and wiggle so it looks kind of cute. Maybe we want to add some extra things. So let's add some sparkles. So we could add some little sparkles to it. and animate them. And again, check your timing. Think about how long you want that on the screen for because the amount of time you make that video is how long it's going to be on the screen in your video. So if you're talking about something and you want it to show it up while you're talking about it or something, you know, some sort of graphic that's relevant to what you're saying, check how long that section in your video goes for. How long are you speaking about that particular thing? How long do you want the graphic to show? And make sure you adjust your timing so that it will be long enough. Otherwise, you'll have to end up doing things like cut it short or repeat it. And it can end up making it look messy and we don't want it to look messy. So really make sure you put the timing right in here so that it's going to be a video that's exactly the right length to use in your video. So again, with this one, again, we want to share, download as MP4 and make sure we match our quality. So again, 4K. Like in YouTube, where you've got that little outro section, how can we design something like that in Canva? So with that, we want to actually go and grab a template because we've got positioning for things like your profile picture, next video and all of that. So if we get a template that can actually help us with the positioning of everything on the screen. So if we put in YouTube outro, And as you can see, you're basically, you're not worrying about the look of the template, but the positioning. That's what we want to steal here. So you'd have a look at this. Okay. They've got the two videos on the side there, the profile pic there. This one's got the two videos either side and the profile pic in the middle. So that's what you want to look at is what positioning you want it to be. What kind of layout do you actually want? Because that's going to be really helpful for us. And it's going to give us the right sizing and positioning. So you basically just go through and find one that the positioning is just the way you want. So let's say, for example, we quite like the way this one is positioned. So we're going to use this. So the next thing you want to do is basically strip out everything that you don't want. So say we don't want all these other elements in it. All we wanted was that positioning so we can start from scratch and just have these in the right position. So you'd want to change these so they are just squares. So you want to think about possibly a color. So that's got actually a white square behind it. So we might just get rid of the images to so get rid of the image and image frame. Yep, so it keeps that white. So I'll show you with a background color. So if we add a background color, you can see so we can get rid of anything else. So we might keep the text and just adapt that. So now we can see what's there. We know we've got everything in position. Now you can decide what color you want to go behind. So that's where you would put those videos, put that profile picture. Sometimes a bit of that color can show behind. So it's up to you if you want that white or if you want that a different color to be almost like an outline. Sometimes that's up to you if you want to play around with different colors. Now the background. So you can just go for a plain color background if you want, or you can go and find a texture 
Or if you have any brand patterns, you may want to put some sort of brand pattern or brand texture that you've got in behind. But something that I think is really fun because this is a video is to actually have a video background. So we don't want anything too distracting because we've got two videos popping up. We've got your profile picture popping up. So a video that's very low distraction, like a texture video. So we can go over into videos where we've got here, we've put in texture. So we've searched texture and have a look at some videos. Now, if you want it to be certain colors, like your brand colors in that, or if you've got in mind the very particular texture you want, like a paper texture or a concrete texture, obviously you can add to the search to really lower it down to exactly what you're looking for. And you would just go through and find a texture that you really love and suits your brand. So something like this, say we had some sort of skincare video, we're like, oh, bubbles could be really awesome. So we can make it the right size and send it to back. And as you can see, having that texture behind is really fun. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit more subtle, the other thing you can do is put the transparency down, put another color behind. So you choose a color that goes behind, maybe your brand color to really emphasize your brand coloring. And you can do it like that. That way it's sort of subtle, but it's still movement in the background and makes it more interesting than just a still boring background. So I really like doing that because it is a video. So why not add more video into it? So we can add our text up here so we can leave the one they've got if you want or choose your own fonts, choose it to whatever you want it to say and what it to look like, add your text in. So you, previous video, next video, all those sort of things. Or if you want to write under your picture, subscribe. So just consider what you actually want on this page. You can also always add in extra elements. Now you don't want to go overboard with an end screen. We don't want to overload it with things as such. But if you do want to add some extra little elements, you know, like sparkles or flowers, or, you know, if you've got brand elements that you want to actually bring into this, feel free to add them in. Make it sort of themed. So think about what is your brand about? How can we make this feel themed and relevant to our brand? And then it doesn't look like a template. It looks like it's customized to your brand because you've really considered it because people often overlook things like these kind of end screens and things like that. So it can really add a nice touch when you've shown that you've really thought about it and made it very for you for your brand. So with these elements also, we can animate them. We can choose little animations make them wiggle or anything else you want to do. Have fun with it. Have fun because it's so easy with Canva. There's so many fun little animation tools we can use and it's so quick and easy. So we can create something really fun and cute quite easily. So once you've got the end screen that you're happy with now, an end screen, the full length in YouTube, if you're doing this for YouTube is 18 seconds. So this video here is not that long. So it's only 9.8. So we could duplicate if we wanted to make it longer. And then that makes that longer. So if you want it to go for the full amount of time that you're able to in YouTube, it would be 18 seconds. Otherwise it can be anything under that. So just keep that in mind. The final thing it's want to be 18 seconds or less. So once you've got your end screen that you like, share and download, Again, you want MP4 and again, you want it to match whatever your videos are. If you do 4K videos, make sure it's 4K. If you do HD videos, make sure it's HD and download. And then that file, every time you make a video, attach that file to the very end of your video, put some music on top. If you've got some brand music that you use, make sure you add that in. And there you've got a beautiful end screen. All right, so I've got a video here and I'm just gonna get rid of the sound so that it's not gonna distract us. And I'm gonna show you how you put these extra graphic elements in. So I'm using Premiere Pro. Um, you can use whatever editing tool you want. If you're finding it hard to work out how to get rid of the green screen, just Google your editing tool, green screen. There are, will be surely some plenty of tutorials that will help you out. So I'll show you how you do this in Premiere Pro, but if you use any other editing software, pretty much all editing software now, you can get rid of green screens. So just Google how to do it in your particular editing software. So we're gonna bring in the graphics we created. So we're just going to plonk them in. All right, so we've got this first one here, which is our lower third. 
So we're going to make sure that we've got it selected, go to effects, we're going to go type in the word key. Then we're going to choose ultra key, we're going to drag it onto it. Over here where it says key color, we're going to get the dropper and choose that green and it's gone. So easy. And so as you can see, when we play it, it's animating and it's animating on top of our video. So we can do that too with this one. So we can again get ultra key, drag it onto it, get the dropper, choose the green and there we go. So that's a super easy way to add animated graphics onto your videos. Now our end screen, we're just going to put that in at the end here. And here I've added in some music on top. So as we end our video, we have our end screen. So it's so easy to use Canva to add extra graphics, animations, and these fun, interesting extra elements to your videos. So get creative, have fun creating these graphic elements for your videos. And if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.